Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Atto. I have done MD in Forensic Medicine. And today in Wound Biastics, we will discuss about characteristics of rifle wound. Rifle wound, whenever they are fired, along with the projectiles, there is flames which travel up to 8 cm, smokes which may travel up to 15 cm, unburnt, partially burnt powder grains and some small metallic particles may travel up to 40 to 50 cm in handguns and 60 to 100 cm in rifles. So these are create a, a characteristic wound, I have entrance wound, which will determine the range of the wound. Characteristic for entrance wound depends on the range of the shot, that is the distance of the muzzle of firearm from the body. So it may be contact shot, close shot, near shot or distance shot based on the how much the distance the muzzle is from the body. So first with the contact shot. For contact shot, point blank the term is used, which tells the range is very close to or in contact with the surface of the skin. In this uh, contact shot, the muzzle, that gun barrel is in close contact with the skin. In this, there is a firm and hard contact resulting in wound similar to that of a, from shotgun. So this contact shot is also similar to that of shotguns as well as in rifle wounds. In this, there is an imprint of muscle of a gun is found as a pattern abrasion on the skin because um, muzzle is close contact with the skin, the imprint of the muzzle will be found. The discharge from the muzzle that is gases, flame, gunpowder, smoke and metallic particles are all blown into track taken by the bullet through the bowl, through the body. So all are deposited inside the body since the muzzle is in contact with the skin. The wound is large and triangular or stellate, cruciate or elliptical shape. So wound may, based on different characteristics, it may be circular, it may be elliptical, it may be stellate shaped or it may be elliptical and shows characterization due to expansion of liberated gas in the skin and tissue which shows laceration. So these are all based on because of the gases. So when the gases enter the skin, they may explode inside the skin and it may, uh, may sometimes rupture the skin causing lacerations. Margins of the wound are hyperemic, contused and averted due to gases coming out of the entering wound. So typically entrance wound is usually inverted, that is the skin is inverted but in contact wound, most of the times the skin becomes averted because the gases which they enter, gases which they enter the skin will push the skin outside and create the uh, averted edges. Syngic of hair may be present due to escape of hot gases at the side of the muscle end. Some muscle blast which is the fire which comes from the barrel which creates negative pressure in the barrel following which the it sucks the blood hair fragments of the tissue and cloth fibers several centimeters into the barrel that is called as back sputter. This is also similar to in shotgun wound also back sputter is seen which is created because of the back pressure caused by the muscle blast. Now, next is loose contact or near contact. So in this loose contact it is a contact wound but the contact is not so firm and because of sometimes recall of the weapon the person may not be able to firmly adhere the muscle to the skin because of that it which may become loose contact. In this, some of the gases will escape, resulting in scattering of the muscle blast and unusual arrangement of suit is seen, which is called as corona. So this is a typical condition where because of expression of gases, there is a formation of corona that is the caused by the smoke particles. So it is a form of blackening where there is skin, there is a part of skin which is not affected and there is a blackening caused by the smoke. The corona consists of circular zone of soot deposit which is seen surrounding the bullet defect but separated from it by the band of skin without any deposit of soot. So wound has a clear margin inverted abraded and mildly surrounded by soot. So in this loose contact the skin and the edges are inverted. Syngic of hair may be seen because of exp exp that is the escaping of gases and tightening also is not seen since the, all the uh, unburnt particles are enters the body. Contact sh shot on the skull. So if there is a contact shot on the skull, there's some characteristic changes occurs. So wound appears larger and irregular because of the expansion of gases. So underlying bone causes the skin to escape from the wound and it may lead to the wound becomes a stellate shape or irregular margins, which causes aversion and splitting of the skin. Resulting wound is undermined, ragged, stellate, triradiate or cruciform where it may differ based on the, how, how the gases escapes. Everter margins from which the tears are radiate. 
soot may be deposited on the bone surrounding the bullet wound. So the gases which the burnt gases may cause that is soot particles may deposit in the bone surrounding the bullet wound. It also it explained by the fissure fractures of the skull which radiates from the circular from the bullet wound and a bullet fired from the short distance may produce an explosive effect sufficient to burst the scalp, shatter the skull and also dislodge the brain. So in contact wound there is chance that bone fragment may come out and also the brain may get dislodged. The margins of the wound of entry, subcutaneous tissue and muscles around the track of the blade may be bright pink due to presence of carbon monoxide. So inside the wound, subcutaneous tissue may look like a pink color because of deposition of carbon monoxide. Contact shot in clothed. So if the if there is uh, cloth is present between the skin and the uh, muscle end. The, ch the chances will be a little bit different. When the part is clothed, the bullet hole is sometimes surrounded by flat ring corresponding the outline of the muscle. So there is, if the part is clothed, there is a bullet hole which is sometimes surrounded by a flat ring. And if loose fibers of cloth in the center of the bullet holes are often turned outwards due to expand, expanding gases. So cloth has loose ends of the cloth will be torn outside, outside because of the gases. If the cloth is synthetic fibers, then the fibers will be melted out, melting of the ends of the fibers will be absorbed. Varying amount of soot is deposited on the edges of the bullet hole and inside the garments may show a large deposit of smoke. So depending on the layers of the uh, clothes, so undergarments, about two uh, undergarments, uh, folds of the skin, fold of the cloth, there may be varying deposition of soot in between the layers of the cloth will be seen. Next is close shot which is within the 5 to 8 centimeters shot is there. This is close shot in which the muscle is with just about 8 centimeters from the skin. The entrance wound is circular and the edges, is in, edges are inverted. So this is a typical entrance wound. So the edge, the wound will be circular and if you take a cross section the edges, the edges will be inverted inside the bullet. Uh, edges will be inverted inside the body. Skin is burnt with singeing of the hair. So since the smoke, the burst, muscle burst, flames can clear the singe the hairs. Wound is hyperemic and shows some bruising, burning, blackening and tattooing. So all the features, typical features are seen like blackening that is that is get deposited and tattooing that is the deposit, deposition of unburnt particles within the skin. As the distance increases between the muscle and the target increases, the pattern of the suit, the powder of the target increases in diameter and density of particle deposition also decreases. So in the entrance wound, there is deposition of the suit uh, that is the blackening will be seen. So as the distance of the muscle increases, the suit deposition also increases. As the distance increases, the intensity of the darkness also suit de decreases. Here in the surrounding area may be clubbed, swollen or intervals by heat or burnt. A braided color, grease color, dark color or present. Subbraided color, so there may be abrasions, abraded color along the edges. Grease color may be seen at the edge, along the, at the edges because of deposition of dust and oil or grease and are usually present in this close, close shot. Next is near shot that is within 60 centimeters of firing. So near shot within the range of, it, it, is, it is in the range of powder deposition and outside the range of flames and smoke. So because there is a there is outside the range of flame and smoke, there is no blackening, tattooing or there is no singeing of hairs will be absent because of that. The entrance wound is round hole, slightly smaller than the diameter of the bullet because of the elasticity of skin with bruised and inverted margins. So the wound will be less, slightly smaller because of the elastic skin, it get retracted, bruised, it will be bruised and, and it just will be inverted. The zone of blackening and tattooing is seen. Little bit will be present, tattooing will be present, but blackening will be less. If the bullet strikes the body at an angle, blackening and tattooing has a pear shape. So, if it is angle, then the blackening and tattooing will be seen as a pear shape. As the distance increases, the intensity decreases, and blackening and tattooing is spread out over the large area. So, as the distance increases, blackening and tattooing also range increases with intensity decreases. In this, there is no singing of hair and skin because flame doesn't travel in that. Abrasion and grease color are present. Next is distance shot, which is above 60 centimeters. In this entrance wound is smaller than the missile utility of skin 
and mazas are invented burning blackening tattooing are not seen so in this wound there is no burning there is no tattooing there is no blackening is seen only up to 50 30 to 50 centimeters blackening is appreciated as above 50 centimeters the blackening decreases the skin adjacent to the hole shows two zones of grease color and abraded color so skin may be uh, may show that zones of grease color the deposition of the dirt and abraded color may be present in case of semi jacket bullet so semi jacket bullet which has doesn't have a protective covering uh, that is the protective covering of tin so the jacket uh, separates and just goes through the body and the core mushrooms into small pieces gives a lead storm so this semi jacket bullet when it enters the body it gets fragmented or mushroomed out and gives us lead snow to operate in when taken the x-rays intermediate targets such as clothing jewelry items in the pockets furnitures doors windows walls etc may modify the appearance of entrance wounds so intermediate targets because in the distance thought many times intermediate targets like any target with place it may be accompanied with the entrance wound and enter the skin now coming to rifle wound on skull so since skull is made up of uh, flat bones made up of two layers of uh, bones that is the uh, outer table and inner table so Inter, the wound entry has typical features. In the skull, the wound of entrance shows punched in clean hole in the outer table. So, in the outer table, usually the, the wound is clean cut, but in the inner table, which is unsupported and a, a cone shaped piece of bone is detached, forming a crater that is larger than the hole of the outer table and shows beveling. So, when the wound enters, when the, bone, uh, when the bullet enters, so this is outer table, this is inner table. When the bullet enters, it creates a, a cone of appearance. So this because of cone, it causes a bevelling. So this is the wound of entry. This is small wound of entry, but in the outer inner table, it creates a cone shaped piece of bone is detached and forming a crater in larger and it becomes a larger wound. So this is the outer table. This is the inner table. This is the outer wood table, which shows a larger hole because of the unsupport because the outer inner table is unsupported it may be accompanied by fissure fracture which radiates from a defect lacerate the, it may also lacerate the leptomeninges at the point of exit a punched out opening is produced in the inner table and beveling opening in the outer table so at the exit wound of the uh, exit wound of the skull the opposite of which occurs in the entry wound occurs in this the uh, inner table has a punched out uh, punched out wound but in the outer table in the uh, outer table it becomes a there is a beveling again because the outer table is not support it will not support in this case like that there are often fears uh, there are often fissure fractures as seen sometimes community fractures also radiating from the center hole same appearance is also seen in uh, different uh, bones like sternum pelvis ribs dentures and thumbnails so to determine the fractures direction uh, fractures there is a one rule for pipes rule for fractures especially in skull fractures uh, it tells that uh, whenever one fracture is there if another fracture appears it it gets stopped by the uh, one fracture so it can a sequence of shots when several bullets have struck the cranium this rule is applicable at multiple blunt fractures force causing skull fractures the fracture line either when they interact intersect each other or when they intersect a created lesions so that can determine which crack or defect must have been formed first so in this image you can see a is the first fracture which has appeared and b is the one more fracture so this fracture gets stopped by the a fracture that tells that a fracture was the first and b fracture was the second so if the second fracture if any fracture gets stopped by the one more first fracture that indicates that the first fracture uh, the one fracture is the first one and the which the fracture which was stopped by that is the next fracture now exit rifle wounds exit wounds of a rifle weapon in this the blood fragments on impact ex and exit wound may may not occur sometimes bullet may fragment in the body and it may be lost in the body they may be so typically the exit wounds are round stellate cruciate elliptical crescent shaped exit wound produced by low velocity bullets may cause tumbling blood or in skin pores produce elongated or slick light resembling a stab wound so 
many times it may not be typically circular wound if there is a wound the bullet is low velocity it may tumble or because of skin force it may cause slit like stab wound may be produced exit wounds of head are usually star shaped resembling the contact entry wounds in some cases entrance and exit wounds may look alike exit wounds help determining the direction of fire so determining the exit wounds you will have to determine the exit wounds usually the edges are inverted so it will be to determine the direction of fire posture of the victim so how the where, how the where the body is entered where the body uh, where the gun body when the gun enters the body comes out tells the posture or uh, where the person was sitting number of bullets in the body will also help determine the how many bullet have entered and how many bullet have exited in the body in exit wounds when the weapon has fired in contact with the bone or at very close range exit wound is usually smaller than the wound of entrance with increased range exit wound is larger than the end wound of entrance with high velocity bullet the two wounds may have be have, may have the same size the edges of the exit wound may be puckered or torn or inverted and pieces of contused hemorrhagic subcutaneous fat may be protruded to the defect so typically exit wounds size may differ based on the how much the velocity of the gun is fired low velocity doesn't cause typical entrance wound high velocity guns if they is fired then typical entrance exit wound will be of the same size usually exit wounds are puckered or torn or inverted edges are seen and it is accompanied by uh, some fat or consequently fat or tissue the edges are free from signs of burning blackening tattooing and there is no contusion or abrasion color so all the features typical features of rifle wound like burning blackening tattooing abrasion color are absent in the exit wound some peculiarities about showed or supported exit wounds supported exit wounds are those where the skin is in close contact with some hard object if the skin at the exit wound is firmly supported the exit wound appears as a circular or near circular defect so this type of wound, this type of exit wound will have a circular or near circular defect because of the uh, because of the surface which supports the exit wound so typically like belt or braziers sometimes the body is leaning against a hard surface such as wall back of the chair or floor car seat mattress bedding that also in that all cases also this type of defect is seen in fatty persons the edges of the both of the wounds of enter and exit may be averted due to protrusion of fat so if the in obese persons usually the entrance and exit wound will look similarly because of protrusion of the fat so different variations in exit wounds sometimes bullet may tumble in the body and fa fails to exit nose for nose and and for nose end first so in the body the bullet may tumble it may rotate on, along its axis side it may the base may enter exit from the body the bullet may be deformed so it may be typically the body uh, bullet the exit will not be circular it may be sharp edges will present bullet may break up in tissues and exit has several pieces fragments of the bones may be blown out of the body with the bullet unsupported skin at the exit tends to tear and break into multiple pieces these are different variations in the exit wounds some larger entry wounds so sometimes the wound may appear in larger typically compared to size of the bullet it may occur because of tearing of soft tissues by in rushing of gases so gases may cause tearing of the skin tumbling or yawing of the bullet so the yawing is the bullet may travel in a wave form because of a defect in the body or it may tumble in a form and it enters the body and which may lead to bullet enter has a hole as a, as a longitudinally or what it may not enter vertically it may enter the body as longitudinally breaking a bullet with only a portion of it exiting it may also lead to large entry wounds tangential entry which focus focal aversion of tissues so if it enters uh, tangentially the angle it may also cause aversion of the tissues bullet entering to folded or creased skin may also cause ent larger entry wounds alteration of gunshot wounds so many times gunshot wounds may be altered by different mechanisms like drying of margins of the wound opening decomposition of the body so decomposition of body may cause the entry wound to get larger or deformed healing of the wound itself so if the person has been shot and he is killed afterwards there may be some healing may occur interference by emergency care personnel so sometimes the person emergency care personnel may try to stop bleeding and sometimes he may try to 
suture the wound where at that time the entry wound will be difficult to distinguish surgical operations if it is done on the entrance wound interface by non professional personnel the scene of death washing or cleaning of the wound will uh, wash off suturing or blackening will be washed off and it will be very difficult to determine the range of effort so this alteration of this may lead to difficult to determine what is the range where from which the gun was fired now coming to the difference between inlet and exit wound, exit bullet wounds inlet wounds are usually smaller exit wounds are larger edges are inverted edges are inverted in exit wounds they are more regular they are less severe than exit wounds powder marks such as gun powder marks are present in the inlet but they are absent in exit wounds bewelling is present internally it is bewelling is present in externally in the skull skull bewelling is seen in the in the internal in in in, in in the table of the skull in the experience in the exit wound externality is seen so this image depicts the entrance of the wound enters when the bullet tries to enter it stretches the skin and it just gets inverted and because of the necessity it may get it may size may reduce so this is typically seen in the long range distance shot wounds which is from 50 to 60 cm distance if it is unsupported the edge just gets inverted and the entrance wound will be larger but if the edge, entrance exit wound is supported the entrance exit, exit will have same diameter these are my references thank you